Welcome to Narisha Technologies, this is Mahesh. So, in my previous videos, I explained what is Kotlin, how to declare the variables in Kotlin, and how to create the functions in Kotlin. Like these topics I explained in the previous videos, right? So, in this video, I'll explain how to create a constructors in Kotlin. Hope you're aware of this, what exactly constructor is. Constructor is a special named block with class name, right? A block with class name we call as a constructor we call and constructor is mainly uh, used to initialize the instance variables at the time of object creation and constructor is mainly used to what? To initialize the instance variables at the time of object creation and you cannot call explicitly, you cannot call the constructor, it is a part of object creation. Whenever you create an object, the constructor will be invoked, right? So, in Kotlin, there are two types of constructors are there. The two types of constructors is, one is a primary constructor. In Kotlin, there are two types of constructors. One is a primary constructor and one more thing is nothing but secondary constructor. So, we can create only one, one, one primary constructor we can create in a class and we can create a number of secondary constructors we can create in a class, okay? So, we will see more about this, the constructor declaration and what is the difference between primary and secondary constructor with an example. So, we are using this IntelliJ ID we are using to write some Kotlin code and to test a Kotlin code. I am creating a new product I am creating, in the IntelliJ I am creating a new product I am creating. Specify what is the project name, I am specifying a project name called constructor test is a project name I am specifying. I am specifying a project name called what? Constructor test is a project name I am giving. Next. So, once the product is created, we can create a Kotlin file you can create and we know that execution is going to begin with the main function. So, we will create a main function and we will we will test a Kotlin, uh, constructors we will test. So, you got a project we got, constructor test is a project we got. Under this project, you can find a folder called SRC is a folder you can find. Under this SRC folder, just right click on it, right click on the SRC, you will find the option called new. Under this new, choose an option called Kotlin file or class. So, you can specify the file name. I specified a file name called test is a file name I specified. You do not require to create a class in Kotlin for creating a main function directly you can create a main function you can write and you can test the code you can test. So, we discussed in the previous video the function we are going to create by using the fun keyword specify what is the function name main or the main function which is taking the array of string type of data as input parameter so you have to specify array of string right we get a main function we created. Now, to test the Kotlin constructor I am creating a class I am creating. I am creating a class name called info is a class name I am creating. You know right, what is meant by constructor is nothing but a special name to block in the class with class name, right? So, here in constructor, I told you there are two types of constructors, primary and secondary. The primary constructor we are going to create after this class declaration, the here itself you will write the primary constructor declaration will specify. Now, this will be called as a primary constructor now. Class info is having one we are creating a primary constructor. If you want, if you want to take an input, if you want to take, you can specify the input arguments, you can specify, let us take for example, I am taking an integer type called year, you can specify year colon, what type of data it is, I specify it is an integer type. We create a primary constructor, it is a primary constructor, year of type, what type of data it is, it is an integer type of data. So, inside this info class, let us take I am creating a function called display info is a function I am creating. I am creating a function called what? Display info is a function I am creating. Just I want to print a message I want to print, the year information I want to print. Print, let us take you can write year is plus you can write year. The constructor is taking an input parameter, right? And directly we are trying to access that, year we are trying to access. But it is not possible, we cannot access that the variable what you are getting as input parameter, we cannot access this primary constructor value. If you want to access, simply make the variable either var or val. If we make it as a var or val, we can access, we can access that variable, we can access even outside this constructor declaration also we can access. If you do not specify data type, basically it is not required to specify, but to access that variable, 
the constructor is taking one input right to access even outside the constructor if you want to access inside the class. So let us declare the variable either var or val type so that we can access even outside the class also we can access right like this. So simply declare either var or val we can access even outside this constructor also we can access inside the class. So this kind of declaration we called as a primary constructor we call. Now if you want to a specified var for example or var or val i is equals to I am creating the object I am creating for info class object I created. But info class is having a primary constructor which is taking the integer type as an input. For example, I specified 2018 again as an input for this. Now let us see, let us call that function i, call, i dot you can call a function called display today info. Like in the previous video we discussed already, in Kotlin there is no new keyword like how we will create a, uh, how we will call the constructor in Java in the same way, just simply specify the class name. The, const, the class is having one primary constructor which is taking year as input parameter. That is why we are sending the 2018 we are sending. Just we are calling the function we are calling. Let us see here, run the application and see the output. It is not mandatory, but if you want to access this variable, if you want to access outside the constructor, in the class if you want to access, make the var or val. So, you can access this variable, you can access anywhere in the class we can access. Okay, Let us see here. So you got the output, you got year is 2018 is the output we got. You got year is what? 2018 is the output we got. But what is the actual usage of constructor? We are going to use, what is the actual usage of constructor? Why use a constructor in Java? Constructor is used to initialize the instance variables at the time of object creation, right? To initialize the instance variables at the time of object creation, we use a constructor we use. So let us assume that the class contains some instance variables. I want to initialize that variables I want to initialize. For example, I am taking one local variable var year of type I specified int I specified. Var type is specified int. Later we want to initialize this variable. So we want to, we will give null we will specify. Because it is not like Java, there is no primitive type. Everything is will be considered as a object type. I specified var year of type int to be specified null we initialized. For example, I specified current year I specified. Current year is equals to current year is an integer type, but we want to declare initially with null we want to declare. So make this variable as a question mark, okay. So directly we are initializing the value we are initializing. For example, now the declaration is like this for example. The constructor is taking the year of type int to type as an input parameter. Now whatever the value we are getting as the input for this constructor, that value we want to store into this variable we want to store. We want to initialize that the constructor input parameter we want to initialize into this instance variable we want to initialize. For that separately we are having a block we are having called init, use the init block. Init block is used for initializations, right? Init block is used for what? The initialization, so use the init block we use can specify the current year is equals to you can specify year. See earlier if you declare like this if you declare we are unable to access in the class right inside this display, display info function we are unable to access but we are able to access in the init block we are able to access. See here hope you understand the primary constructor declaration while you are creating the class itself Right? If you specify the opening and closing in the bracket, you can specify what is the variable name and you can specify type you can specify. And you do not require to specify it is a mutable or immutable type. If you do not specify mutable or immutable type if you do not specify. So you can access in the init, init block we can access. In the init block we can store this, the variable value you can store into the instance variables you can store. Right? That is what the use of init. init, init block is used to initialize the instance variables. Whatever the input we are taking in the constructor, that thing we are assigning into instance variable we are assigning. Now instead of you know, taking the input parameter, assigning in the instance variable, assign, assign, the, assign the data into the instance variable, instead of doing all these things, now if you want to print, you have to call current year, you have to call. Instead of doing all these things, instead of doing all these things, simply make the variable year as a something in specify var or val, mutable or immutable. So that directly we can access the variable you can access in the entire class you can access anywhere, okay. So if you specify the data type declaration, if you specify that thing we can access anywhere in the class you can access. So it will be considered as a instance variable will be considered. 
here will be considered as an instance error. Constructor is taking an input parameter that value will be stored in the instance variable of here. No, you want to you want to assign some value you want to assign into some other instance variables you want to assign. Let us take for example, like we are having one more variable called current year of type in TZ type you made as a null you specified. You do not want to access this variable directly inside the class just whatever the input you are getting in the constructor that thing you want to assign into some instance variable you want to assign. Then at that time create what init block inside the init block you can specify the current year is equals to what to initialize the instance blocks uh, to initialize any instance variables then do not write the data type declaration use the init method and you can assign the uh, constructor input parameter you can assign into instance variables you can assign. Instead of doing all these things directly if you want to access the variable inside the class simply make the declaration as a var or var you can access anywhere in the class we can access. This is called as a primary constructor we call. How many primary constructors, primary constructors you can create for a class? Only one primary constructor we can create. The secondary constructor how you are going to create a secondary constructor is nothing but by using constructor keyword we can create secondary constructor we can create. In a single class we can create n number of secondary constructors you can create but you can create only one primary constructor. Okay. Let us see here how you are going to create a constructor is by using a keyword called constructor by using a keyword called what? construct specified like year of type it is also type integer type I specified is taking the one thing it is taking the integer type as input parameter and one more constructor I specified which is taking the a string type of data as input otherwise you can declare like this also you can declare one constructor is taking I mean the primary constructor is taking the integer type as input. Now, we created one more secondary constructor we created which is taking the string type of data as input. But here we are calling the secondary constructor. We cannot create two constructors, we cannot create in a single class. Either you can create either primary constructor or you can create what secondary constructor we can create. See here it is using to call the default constructor. See here directly if you create a constructor, it is asking us to call what the default constructor call this of. So, remember you cannot create two constructors you cannot create in one single class either you can create a primary constructor or you can create what secondary constructor okay. In for one class you can create only one primary constructor. In one single class you can create n number of secondary constructors. In one single class you can create either primary constructor or secondary constructor both you cannot create in one single class remember. If you want to create this constructor if you want to create you can specify one more constructor which is taking this year as input parameter of the integer type okay. Now, in the info class we created two, two secondary constructors we created one constructor is taking the integer type as input and one more constructor is taking the string type of data as a input. If you want you can write you can write here itself you can print some message like how we are using the inline functions we use the same concept we use for constructor also let us take it is not supporting. So, inline constructor we do not have. So, you can print a message you can print here print like year is you can print the year value you can print. We know that if you want to access a any variable value inside the double quote simply will specify dollar you can specify the variable name you can specify ok. Now, create how many constructors you created in a class you created two construct two secondary constructors we created one constructor which is taking the int type and one more constructor is taking what the string type as a input parameter. So, now we remove the display info method. So, I am calling the info constructor I am calling which I am sending the integer type I am sending as the input. So, it is going to call this constructor which is taking int value as input. If you want to call another constructor create one more object info object I am creating I am specifying year is something like 2018 I am specifying. Something I specify 2018 is a message I am sending I can run the application see here the two constructors we will call one constructor which is taking the int type and one more constructor which is taking what the string type. See here, here is 2018 we call the constructor is called which is taking integer type and here is 2018 okay. So, this about the constructors in Kotlin we understand what is primary constructor and secondary constructor how to create a secondary constructor and what is the use of init block. 
to initialize the instance variables we are going to use what init block we are going to use okay thank you Thank you.